Okay, so I had my big 10 wheelbarrow in pieces. Uh, this morning was moving some gravel and bent the part of the structure that holds the uh, rear axle because I made this from a just a two wheel wheelbarrow to a four wheel wheelbarrow with the use of a cart and I think I just added a little bit too much weight because I bent that really bad that's the one that's bent that's the side that's not bent but it is bent but not as bad so my idea is taking a another wheelbarrow that met its demise but I saved some pieces cut this down the size to fit from yeah I cut this for space for the wheel uh, anyways cut this piece down to meet from here to here down to here the only thing is, is for the rear wheels this is way too long so we're going to shorten it up a little bit and try to stiffen that up. So I'm going to trim this down and try fitting it. Well, I'm going to have to think of something else because uh, this leg did not last at all. It just <laughs> peeled away as I was hammering it, cold hammering it to f f uh, fit it. But since it's got this extra plate here, I wonder if I could just use cut everything else off and just use it to brace up here where the axle sits might only be a band-aid but right now that's better than nothing so well plan A didn't work let's go to plan B alright so cut off the pieces going to fit them like this on both sides. There's the other one for that side. So just line these up, mark my holes into here, put the axle back on and see how it does. Now I should say this before I get too far ahead. Uh, this is a kit from an equestrian uh, magazine. It just kind of it came across uh, it was in one of those YouTube videos like uh, you know hey look at these cool tools whatever and it was in there and I was like ooh okay let's check this out so it came with these brackets I modified it because a big 10 wheelbarrow was not in their um, viewpoint so like the axles there's some space on that axle but this one it's stretched right to the edge like you can see right here these are new handles and the tires wearing in you know there's rub marks down here too um so depending on what you're putting this on like they have like you know a 10 cubic foot uh wheelbarrows from you know the box stores and other hardware stores so what this came with these holes it was just a flat piece of steel. No angle to it to give it any kind of bracing or anything, just straight across. Well, when you have this thing loaded, and I mean loaded, not with mulch, dirt, and gravel, that little bar does nothing. So this came off of a wheelbarrow that it was a poly wheelbarrow, and the you know being out in the sun being used the poly just cracked so this came off of that one for feet and i should have kept the feet for that one but hindsight's 2020 20, right when you're doing work like this now next time i'll i'll keep it because those were really nice legs keep your mind out of the gutter so i took this and modified it to work i had to cut it to trim a little bit to work it it's better than what it was um, 
you know, could they do better? Yeah, but are they thinking that, you know, it's from an equestrian magazine? So are they thinking that you're going to be loading up with gravel all the time? They're probably thinking, you know, muck out stalls and stuff like that. That's what they show. But uh, I kind of used it for something else. Uh, it comes with a big push bar. So that you can push down on, and the rear wheels take the brunt of it, which is part of the problem. So the other pieces from these legs, I might at some point put them here and here because this is this is nothing if there was you know a groove or a bend in it to give it some more strength it would be ideal but again i don't you know their view might have been different than what i'm making it do uh for moving mulch it's great uh it's just when you put something really heavy in it it, it kind of becomes a uh, you're kind of pushing it a little bit but again you know with most wheelbarrows what are you doing you're lifting it and putting it on the front wheels yes you you got motorized ones now but this is a four wheeled one that you push down push down using the bar onto the rear wheels front wheels are up off the ground and you turn so there's so you're kind of working in your best effort um, I have gone through let's see there's the original set on here that was 10 years old for handles. Those went. A second set went. A third set that was from a donor wheelbarrow. Those lasted one job and I snapped them. <laughs> and then I got these. Um, the only problem with these are for the handle to fit, I had to shave the handle down a little bit so that the hand so that the metal part can slide over it. But it's a thicker, uh, thicker wooden handle, so I had to go with longer bolts. <laughs> All this for a wheelbarrow. But uh, you know, when you got to move material, and if it's you know a real small job and it doesn't make sense to bring in a, a loader, I, you know, you can't go wrong with one of these. Can you put it on a a six cubic single front wheel wheelbarrow? Yeah that's kind of what it's actually meant for that's what they show in the pictures so i kind of went above and beyond with this oh this is a i don't know if it shows up brent co uh brentwood industries um they came with the narrow wheel uh narrow wheels these are uh foam filled this is actually an older one that I, from another wheelbarrow uh so they're they're the run flat foam wheels because uh, the other wheels, especially the rear wheels, you just pop them right off the bead and you'd be running around with flat flat wheels, so you had to modify it. But uh, that's a little backstory, so let me uh, mark the holes, drill them in, mount the axles, see what we got. Alright, so got the brackets on. I'm gonna see how it does. Pretty good on spacing. A little tight. But see how it goes. Uh, like I said, the other pieces of that bracket that I don't have close, since it's got the bend, the forged bend on the edge, not just this smooth edge, which I know has like no stiffness to it. Uh, thinking of taking the extra pieces of this and putting it on here because up here at least there's this bar but down here I have something lengthwise to kind of strengthen the strengthen those bars up so but well let's see how it does and if it breaks I'll let you know thanks for joining me and catch you next time